Good evening, and welcome to the seventh hour of the Great Steak Debate, live from the Reagan Library. I'm your moderator, Bill O'Reilly. So last week, Donald Trump's longtime butler revealed to the New York Times, an actual paper, that the Republican frontrunner orders his steak well done. So well done, in fact, that it's like a rock on a plate. He had a debate whether a man who orders a steak well done can effectively run this country that we call America. Joanne Nosachinsky and Catherine Temp. Kat, so yes, you can applaud. They don't really deserve it, but fine. Kat, some argue that this piece of information about well done steak is worthy of disqualification. Is it? Absolutely. People who order their steak well done, they either have no taste or they're paranoid about bacteria. We don't need another paranoid president. This proves that a vote for Trump would amount to a vote for carpet bombing every country. Look at this map. The countries highlighted in yellow are the ones that will be carpet bombed by a president who insists on a well-done steak. If, you, if you'll notice, Greg, it's all the countries, even Canada. What do you have against Canada? I have a lot against Canada, but we can't get into that here. Joanne, is it possible that Trump just doesn't like steak? Mm, that's impossible, Greg. As we know, Trump sold a very successful line of steaks that were incredibly delicious and liked by everyone. And there's nothing more American than red meat, even if it's gray. Mm. Consider this. A very real 60-minute survey found that 36% of Americans prefer well-done hamburgers compared to 19% medium rare. So if anything, Trump reflects the preferences of the people. Mm, he's making meat great again. Mm -hmm. Kat, uh, will a president who eats rock-hard beef appear weak to other countries? It shows he's a man afraid of blood. And if you're afraid of blood, how can you defend a country? How can you fight ISIS? All right, I have to jump in here. I, I disagree. Okay, a rubbery steak requires a lot of chewing. And the mandible is the strongest bone in the human face. And he's showing his strength and power to the rest of the world with every bite. But maybe Trump overcooks all of his food. You ever think of that? As he should. The president does not have time for food poisoning, and neither do I. I eat steak well done, just like our future president, which makes me a great American. That's a lie. That's a lie. She eats her steak medium rare, and I can prove it. Exhibit A. <laughs> Does that steak look well done to you, Greg? It's as red as her dress. Yeah, but you know, yes, Kat, I, yes, my I have never even seen you eat. I don't. <laughs> Thanks to these appetite-suppressing Digiret brand electronic cigarettes. I don't even miss it. Kat, that was clearly a ploy for an e-cig company to send no, you free products. No, but 1211 Avenue of the Americas, but I, no. <laughs> well, I, I kind of respect that. All right. Uh, closing statements, Kat. A president who orders steak well done will no doubt lead to World War III. It's your choice, voters. Blood in the steak or blood on your hands. <laughs> There's nothing more conservative than avoiding rare meat. If you want a job to be done well, get a guy who orders his steak well done. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, as usual, we've learned nothing from these two, and now I'm starving. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Audience trivia is up next. The greatest party gifts you will ever see in the history of television are on the line. Stick around. <laughs>